this is a very interesting question, this notion of um, how analytical our sense of smell is, you might say. And there's some, some classic work done by a fellow named David Lang in Australia in which he showed that if he takes four odors, let's say, four fairly common odors that you would have no trouble identifying, he puts them in little bottles, the fluids in little bottles, one after another puts them under your nose, you'll say, oh, that's banana, that's uh, you know, lavender, wh whatever the four are. Um, and then he blends them together in ways that he doesn't tell you what he's doing. So he puts two of them together and puts it under your nose, and you can identify quite easily which two he's put in, uh, in any random way. Then he puts three of them together, and it becomes much more difficult to figure out which three of the four are in there. And by the time he puts four in there, there's no way you know. So actually the experiment is done with six, so you, you, otherwise you'd know it was just the four. So the, once you hit three or four odors in a blend, you have a great deal of difficulty analytically determining what are the things that made up that now essentially new perception of a particular odor of the blend. And that's true not only, as it turns out, for amateurs, but I mean, normal people, but also for perfumers and well-trained uh, chefs and, and uh, fragrance artists. Mm -hmm.